So you may know that I have the best terminal build out there and it just got a little bit better. In fact, this is one of those things that I think um, you don't often think that you want, but once you know that it's out there, it's something you just gotta have. So my minimal terminal build now has a feature. I don't know any other terminal that has this, but it's fantastic. Okay, just to prime your brain for what we're gonna do. You may know that, of course, I use Suckless's ST. I have a lot of my own patches and extra additions to that. Um, but one thing that's very nice about Suckless's ST is you can patch in the ability uh, of external pipe. And basically what that does is it takes all the content on the screen and you can pipe that to some external script to do something with it. So one thing that uh, I think is on the Suckless's, uh, Suckless's website that they have is following links. And I have this in my terminal build. This isn't the big thing. I'll show you that in just one second. Um, but for example, if I press Alt uh, L, what it does is it searches everything on the screen for you know links to something, uh, URLs, and you can select one of those by typing it in, you can select it in D menu, and that will bring it up in you know a new window or whatever else. So that's very nice, so that's Alt L. I also have Alt Y, which is the same thing, but it copies the URL, so I can go in and you know, copy that. So that's a really nice feature, that's a really nice ability, and it's especially nice when, you know, let's say you have a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of content or something like that you can still get a lot of these links just by following them or something like that but you know we don't need to uh, oh and by the way a couple of weeks ago someone actually added in the ability to uh, for this to work over line breaks I think his name was Kaiser Soze I don't actually know if that's his real name but thank you Kaiser um, anyway so what what's the big thing so last last night I was on the mumble server and if you are on the mumble server you may know that Jay Walker's on there 24 7 pretty much and he had this really brilliant idea. His idea was this. So one thing that you often have to do on the terminal, let's say you're, you know, you might cat out some commands, you know, you're doing something, LSing or something like that. Um, you're doing something, maybe you're bug testing or running commands, and you often have to copy, you, you want to copy the output of a command somewhere else. So usually how you do that, in the same way that, you know, normally you might highlight one of these URLs, you have to go to your mouse, scroll over it, get exactly right, copy it, and do whatever. Same thing with the output of a command like this, which is a big pain. I mean, if we want to copy all this, it's just an annoyance. I mean, we hate using the mouse on this channel anyway, but either way, this is a particularly annoying thing to do and get exactly right. So Jay Walker's idea was basically, let's have the same thing, but uh, same thing as you know, following URLs, it's up for copying the output of commands. And you know he we we sort of worked together last night and a little today, uh, and we got something that works really well. Let me show you how it works. So if I press Alt and then uh, what did I bind it to? Alt O for output. It does this. It'll give you a D menu prompt and it'll list out the commands that it detects you have run. So let's say I want the output of LSA. Now, once you have selected that, that has been copied to your clipboard. It's copied with XClip, actually. So let's say I open up a Vim buffer, and I can paste that in, and you will see that the output of that command, including the command itself, you know, was successfully copied. So this is extremely useful. Now, first off, I will say, despite ST being the most minimalist terminal emulator ever, I don't know of anyone, any other terminal emulator that has something just like this, but this is a phenomenal ability because, you know, there's a lot of time when you have to copy output from a particular command and use, use it somewhere else. So, uh, so we figured out a way to do this, and it, again, it's actually already in my ST build. If you want to go on Git, GitHub, I just added it in. Um, again, it's Alt-O. It, it does require D-menu, of course. All of these link following commands require D-menu because that's the menu prompt. And it also requires XClip. You probably already have XClip installed, but that's just the, the thing that actually ca copies the, uh, the text. Um, but that's pretty much all you need. And once you have that, you can run any command. You know, you might have an error. You might have necessary output. You need to copy to Firefox. And now you can copy all of that without using the mouse, without moving around, just, you know, choosing whatever you want to, whichever one and running with it. So that that's fantastic. This is one of the things, this is another life lesson as to how an extensible terminal is much more useful. Now, just to educate you, I, I do want to at least show you what we're doing in the script. Um, because we had to, we had to sort of do weird, some weird stuff. Um, 
uh, let me go ahead and what did I name it? ST copy out. So if you install my ST build, this will install automatically and you'll, you don't have to worry about it. It just, you automatically get the binding. Oh, and I will say, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video, but my ST build, which I have done videos on before, it's now in the AUR. So if you're an Arch user, you can just install ST Luke git and that'll be it. Um, anyway, so how it actually works is external pipe, of course, basically what it does is it takes all the, the content on the screen and pipes it to a script. And this is the script that it's, it's piped to, okay? So it makes a temp file, it takes the standard input and puts it in that temp file. Then what it does is it actually gets your PS1. It wants to estimate what your, your prompt here looks like and how it does that, what this line is, is it greps out all the lines with content on them that aren't white space because we don't want you know all these lines with nothing on it um, it gets the last one of those and it gets gets the first element in there and the reason we do that is actually because um, uh, basically sometimes people's prompts will change depending on what directory they're in so we just take the first word of those prompts because that's usually unique enough okay so we take that and then we give them a D menu prompt, grepping out all of the lines on their terminal that have that match, that have their prompt on it. And that's the menu we give them to select their output from. Uh, so they select that. And um, this is just to escape characters. We actually find, I don't know if anyone knows anything about this, but apparently like, uh, usually if you wanna escape characters, you can use printf with the like uh, a, a quotation or percentage sign Q. Uh, but for some reason, that doesn't work in the way that ST calls this. So we had to do something hacky and escape characters like this. But um, either way, uh, then what it does, once you've chosen what you what which command you want, it uses awk to search for that command and take everything from that to the next command prompt and sends that to xclip. So that's how it works. So we had to, we approached this from different angles, but this is the best way we, we got it to work. But if you have any suggestions for improvement, feel free to give, it, give them. Um, so anyway, this should be pretty useful. Again, you don't have to know how this thing is actually working to, to do it. But no, I mean, notice how small the script is with just a couple lines we added in this really great feature to be able to copy output. So I encourage you to check it out. Um, if you have any other suggestions for the kind of things we can do with this, feel free to, uh, to I guess, volunteer them. Um, the, there is one improvement we, we talked about. So external pipe as it exists right now, it only uses, I mean, if I, let's say I clear the output here, it's only going to use the content that is on the screen right now. Like it's not gonna look for commands that, you know, may have already passed through, you've already scrolled by or something like that. Um, so it might be nice to have external pipe look at all the previous commands. There may already be a patch out there that does that. Um, like looks at, you know, S ST might have, ST has, you know, history of the commands run and stuff like that. Um, so there might be a way to do that, but as it is right now, how this is working is it only shows the commands, your most recent commands that are on the screen. So just be aware of that. Um, otherwise, you know, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy it. Again, um, I'll put the links to my GitHub repository and I guess the, the ST uh, build on Suckless, which of course you, you'd have to patch all this stuff in, but my build should work pretty much out of the box. Um, anyway, that's about it. Thanks again to Jake Walker for having that brilliant idea. And um, yeah, that's about it. See you guys next time.